Hey, what's going on everyone? Sam here with Lake Pro Tackle. Guys, we've got a whole bunch of cool stuff coming up for you. Guys, we've got some rods in, we've got some new reels, got some big swim baits, and a whole bunch of other stuff, a big Berkeley drop. So we're gonna go over all that in this video here. Guys, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. We've got some cool videos coming out here. And of course, go follow our uh, stuff on the website. We've got current fishing reports coming out daily, so go check that out as well. Guys, let's go ahead and get in today's video. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel again. Hope you're having a great day. Um, first off, we're gonna talk about something that I think is really cool. Uh, Lake Pro Tackle prides itself in having a lot of exclusive tackle that you can't find anywhere else. Um, and Kirk Armstrong is one of our guys that does a bunch of bladed jigs for us, jigs, flipping jigs, swim jigs, um, spinner baits, hair jigs, but he's also going into the crankbait stuff as well. And this color here is called Lake Pro Shad. So one of our employees actually worked with Kirk and uh, Kirk's painter to get this custom color right here. And this color is was made specifically for Lake Texoma, but it is a perfect shad imitation bait. Um, this is uh, the Lake Pro Tackle Shad. So go check this out online or in store here. Uh, we've got these available, limited quantities. So make sure you can get them while they last. It's got a single, single knocker in there. It's really loud, one big rattle. Uh, the fish definitely eat this one up. It's already won a little bit of money. So go check that out, it's Lake Pro Shad by uh, Lake Pro Tackle Shad by Armstrong Outfitters Tackle. Kirk's a great guy. Um, he's got a card on every single one of his uh, baits here. So go check that out. He's a really cool dude. All right, next up, we're gonna do another hard bait. And a lot of people have been asking for these, uh, for us to get some bigger swim baits in. And we got a, we got a couple in, we put an order in. Uh, Zimmer Baits is who we ordered from, and he did, he did some uh, amazing colors for us. We ordered three different colors. Uh, we did um, Riff Raff, Stunner, or Stunner, and Midnight. And the Midnight in the six inch is already sold out here. We have the six and eight inch in the Stunner and Riff Raff left here, and one Midnight left in the eight inch. So this guy right here is the Stunner. Um, it is a little greenish hue. So if you have a little bit dirtier water where that shad gets a little bit of a yellow or greenish tint to them, this is a perfect imitation for that. And even if it's really clear water, that green is actually gonna filter out due to that light penetration and it's gonna look just straight white to the fish. So these are awesome swim baits here. They swim perfectly straight through the water. No need to tune them, nothing else like that. Um, the uh, area where the hook goes, this eyelet here, it actually swivels. So if that fish is gonna be thrashing about really hard, um, you know, your hook won't get caught up in that and that fish won't get a lot of leverage to throw your bait. So definitely a really cool aspect to these baits here. So definitely wanna check these out, get them while they last. Again, very limited quantities. We'll do another order here once um, we get rid of some of this stock, um, but definitely go check these out. Zimmer baits, guys, again, six and eight inch. The six inch start at a hundred bucks. So a great entry level swim bait. And then the eight inch are only 125, 124.99, so 125. Um, and you know, both of those, if you order online, will qualify for free shipping. So our shipping, we do any order over $50 is gonna be free. So just keep that in mind. We're gonna run out quick. Um, we're gonna talk about some uh, other things other than the Berkeley and Abu Garcia stuff. We'll save that till last. We did get a massive shipment in from them. Um, we also got a massive shipment in from Kitech. Now, Kitech, amazing swim baits. They have some other creature baits as well, but this is one of my favorites that came in. This is the Easy Shiner three inch in a morning dawn color. So guys, 10 in a pack of these three inch swim baits. So if you have like a finesse A rig or something, this might be a good option. I would prefer a four inch just because uh, of the profile and it's hard to get a jig head on a three inch bait here. But what I would really do with this is drop shot this. Now you talk about drop shots, a lot of people think that you've got to throw it out there and let it sit. There, there's a bunch of different ways to fish a drop shot. You can, I mean, power shot by upping your line size. Um, you can do a whole lot of different things, but uh, one of my favorite ways to fish a finesse swim bait like this, especially in this three inch size, even smaller even if you take uh, like the Mega Bass Hesedong Shad, but you take these easy shiners here, you can drop shot them and what I'll do is I'll take the nose hook, barely put it on there, and I'll drag that weight pretty consistently back to the boat. And it provides a amazing action that fish just can't resist. And again, this morning dawn color here, it's a great color. 
as the light filters out through the bottom, you know, it's going to look more and more like a shad. It's going to look less pink to the bass. So definitely want to check these out. Again, find all this stuff online. I'll ha have it linked right below the video here. And speaking of drop shots, we got in the 13 Fishing Omen Gold Series. Now, I'm guessing a lot of you haven't heard about the Gold Series. It's a little bit niche. You can't find them uh, in a lot of places. A lot of places don't carry them, but I saw the specific length and action of this and I just had to beg Tim and uh, make sure we got these in store. So this here is a seven foot six medium light rod. Um, I would say this, this is my exact drop shot rod um, length and action um, that I throw. So I really like the seven six for its extra length that provides a little bit more line when, you're, when, you, when you set the hook, more line comes in because it's a longer rod but also with that medium light action, you know, you can really, this tip here is very, very limber. And as you set the hook into a drop shot, you know, you're not setting it really hard. You're not slack lining them. Most of the time you really want to just get tension and pull, um, you know, not super hard. So this tip here is going to absorb a lot of that. And once it gets down to around the fifth or sixth eyelet here, about um, a third of the way down the rod blank, uh, it actually starts getting a lot of backbone here and it stiffens up going all the way back to the handle. So the 7.6 action is, my, in my opinion, probably the best action for a drop shot, um, just because you can bring in a lot of line. You don't have to do too much reeling. You know, I have a six foot 10 rod um, that I have been drop shotting with a little bit just because I'm dropping on fish, but for um, drop shotting on long cast, you want that extra rod length um, for casting and again, also setting the hook. So being able to throw your drop shot out a long way, get precise cast is definitely an advantage, especially when it comes to finesse drop shotting. Now I will throw my drop shot on 10 pound line, Seaguar Smackdown with a 10 pound gold label leader. Um, that's just my setup. You can do it a bunch of different ways. You can go straight fluoro. However, um, you know, fluoro does have a little stretch in it. So once you get out to that certain distance, it will stretch out and you'll lose a little bit of hook setting power. So definitely want to check this gold series out. Um, I believe this is a 36 ton Japanese blank. Uh, let me, yeah, 36 ton Japanese Torre blank. So definitely go check these out on the website, free shipping on these. These guys are only $130. So this is a great deal, especially if you're trying to get into that mid tier drop shot range um, for your setups. So definitely check out that Omen gold series rod by 13 fishing. Um, let's see, next up, our last non-Abu or um, <laughs> Abu or Berkeley stuff, uh, and this is the Shimano Bantam here. This is the newest addition to the Bantam, so come out this year at ICAST, and you know, I was very excited to see them revamp the Bantam, and I'll show you it here. It is a darker finish, so the Bantam MGL was a silver chrome. This guy here looks more like a Corrado. It's a little bit darker. It's not as dark as the Corrado series, but it is very similar to the Metanium MGL that came out a couple of years ago, or maybe last year. I think it was two years ago, just about. But this guy here, super cool. And what's cool about the Bantam guys is that it's the one solid core aluminum piece. So this one here is a little bit heavier, I will say, uh, than the, even the Corrado DC. It's heavier than the Corrado DC. But again, this thing feels like a workhorse. It's extremely smooth. I mean, you can't even hear those gears running as I turn the handle there. Um, I mean, I can't stress enough how smooth this reel actually is. Right now, we've got two sizes in store. We've got the XG and the HG, so definitely check those out. We're still waiting on these six gear ratios. Um, and this has the new Infinity Drive technology in it. So it's got um, upgraded gears, as well as, if you didn't know, for the Bantams and Metaniums. You know, if you're using Corrados and SLXs, it's a little bit different, but with the solid core material here, uh, solid body, all you have to do to get into the side plate is twist the cap and pull it off. It's nice and sturdy in there. I really like this design. I wish a lot of the other models had this um, because, I mean, that is not coming off once you get it on there. Um, but you've got your tension knob setting, you've got your spool settings, and then you also have the external brakes on the side. Um, I will say no clicking drag on it, um, but that's all right. I mean, oh, sorry, it does have clicking drag on it. It doesn't have clicking tension, which is totally fine. It's got silent tune in it, um, and it's got the 
uh, Magnum Light spool in it, MGL spool number three. So it brings a whole lot of new technology to the table, and we're going to see if this trickles down into the Corrado series um, as they build that out. You know, the Bantam and the Corrado series are some of the oldest ones around there. So we're going to see if they take that Infinity Drive, move it up into some new models in like the Metanium series later on down the road, or what they're going to do with that. So we'll we'll just have to see. But staying on the topic of reels, br the brand new Abu Garcia Xenon has landed at Lake Protocol here. This is the uh, MGX. Now they've got uh, three models of the Xenon in bait casting. Um, this is the middle one. So this is at the $450 range. And uh, guys, when I lifted this box up, I didn't think there was a reel in it. I'm gonna be honest, it does come with a carrying case. So that's one cool thing about this reel. You know, when you're paying $450 for a reel, you want something to go with it and you want that reel to perform like a $450 reel. Now, this guy right here is competing directly with the Shimano Metanium uh, price point at $420 to $430. So it's right above that. And I will say this reel is very light. It comes in at 5.11 ounces, which is extremely light. Um, I might be wrong on this, but I think it's almost, I, I'm pretty sure it's top three lightest reels on the market right now. Um, it's got a lot of cool technology in it, carbon fiber handle, and the, uh, the handles on this are actually a little bit longer than what you'd normally get. So this would be a great, what I would use this for would be a great finesse cranking reel, even a jerkbait reel. And right now we only have the six speed gear ratio and it's bringing in 27 and a half uh, inches per turn. It's got clicking um, drag on it and the drag star also clicks. And you know, the tension knob also clicks on it as well. So a lot of clicking on this reel. Um, Probably not a bad thing, but it's got a super light spool in it uh, to make those nice finesse casts. And, you know, I'm gonna be honest, I think you can do a lot more than this. If you get the higher speed gear ratios, you know, you can easily throw um, around a two uh, or a half ounce weight pretty easy, you know, flip in. Definitely imagine it's a great moving bait reel. And that's gonna be a great segue into one of the hottest baits right now. Um, being talked about. We've got the Berkeley slobber knocker as well as the power stingers in the four and a quarter and three and a half inches. Now the slobber knocker, I think we've got six different colors in store here um, in both three eight and half ounce. Um, you know, we've got the fire tiger for the, those of y'all who like fishing that in grass come springtime and even in the fall time, uh, that fire tiger color can be a great color. Um, but this one right here, this is my favorite. This is just white. It, it, it has white strands in it and it's got a little kind of um, tan slash fleshy looking strands in it. So it's not straight white. It's not just going to blow out everything. Um, but the slobber knocker, from what I've experienced, I got to test it a little bit here um, a little bit ago, right when we got them in, it crawls through cover a whole lot easier than let's, let's say the jackhammer. We're just going to throw the jackhammer out there. The jackhammer has a great tracking action, but what happens is that hook as it's tracking, it goes side to side and it can catch on a lot more things. Um, the slobber knocker kind of crawls a little more. It, it, its hook stays straight. So um, the head design on this one, the blade connects through the head. It's not on uh, the little ring. So with that blade going through the head, it actually keeps that head almost dead straight on. So that hook isn't going out to catch anything as you crawl it through. So super cool and the power stingers i absolutely love these as trailers um, it provides a little bit of hunting action for the bait but it's as that slobber knocker still crawls along it does really well i've thrown these power stingers on the back of a jackhammer works incredibly great as well and i've even thrown it on some of kirk's uh, chatter baits as well so these power stingers very universal um, i haven't found too many uses for them other than just a trailer on a bladed jig or chatterbait. Now I imagine you could probably drop shot these pretty well. You know, the three and a half inch is a great size probably to drop shot. Um, they've got almost like a honeycomb back end, which allows that tail to flap around really easy. Um, but that's what we got for the slobber knocker in the power stingers. Now we're gonna move on to the last two baits here. And these last two baits are Berkeley Max Sense. So these guys here, um, we've got a couple other ones coming in store as well, but these are the ones that have landed right now. This is the Berkeley Powerbait Max Sense 
power chunk. Now the power chunk, if you haven't fished a chunk, you're probably younger than like 20, um, but the chunk is a really great trailer on the back of your jigs and it doesn't have claws. So those, the power chunk is really meant to just sit there and provide um, a bulkiness that you can't get from a lot of different trailers. So it's not gonna be flapping around, it's not doing anything crazy. And you know, that max scent is absolutely gonna draw in a lot more bites and those fish are gonna hold on a lot longer. So I opened it up here, get a big whiff of that max scent and you, you can definitely smell it. So these here are the three and a quarter inch. And this, again, this chunk trailer is gonna sit on the back of your jig. I usually put my hook straight through this um, instead of threading it through. And that's how I like to fish it. But guys, right here, super cool bait, kind of brings back the uh, memories of the pork, pork rind trailers there pork trailers and um, super cool bait. You know, I think I'm gonna start using these on the backs of flipping jigs here in a little bit, as well as dragging on a football jig. So they've got two different sizes. Um, I, I believe it's three and a half and four and a half. So definitely go check those out. And one of my all time favorite max scent baits, other than the Berkeley flatworm, um, this guy here is the Magnum Hit Worm. I'm gonna open it up and show you all. This guy here comes in at seven inches. We've got him in, I believe five different colors. Um, this guy right here is blue fleck. I'm not gonna struggle to get this package open, but this guy right here is blue fleck, seven inches. It's a great, 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 great shaky head bait in the winter time. I've Carolina rigged these, I've Neko rigged these. Um, and if you want me to do any rigging videos for Carolina rig, Neko rig, a drop shot, we're gonna do those. Um, I just need to start working on those. You know, fishing's been really, really good right now. Uh, so check out all the reports I'm doing and all of the ones our Lake Pros are doing on the website again, guys. But these guys, I'm super excited to have in these Magnum Hit Worms. I begged him to get these as well. Um, and these are gonna get a lot of bites for you here in the winter time. That max scent's gonna be spreading scent around. And you know, these just straight up get bit. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming in. We just put in a, bu a bunch of booking orders. And if you want something in the store, let us know. You know, we're not opposed to going out and getting some stuff for y'all. Um, we've got a bunch of cu customers coming in and asking for different things. And if we get enough people, we're going to order them. Make sure we have them in store for y'all. So guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Um, if you need any help, um, we have a chat option on the website now. So go check that out. If you want to talk to Tim or I, we're going to be browsing that chat um, while we're at work here from uh, eight to five. So guys, go do that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.